My name is Jake, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why men invest more into the stock market than women. Now, I know this is a bit of a controversial topic, so I'm not gonna really just have an entire video on my opinion and just go into you know, what, what I think about the topic, but rather I'm gonna focus on research that's been done on the topic, look at empirical research, and, and really dive into my thoughts and opinions on the research that's been done on this topic. The reason why I got interested in the topic was when when I was looking at the audience statistics for the channel and I saw that 95% of those of you that are following the channel and watching the channel are male. And that really surprised me. 95% are male and 5% are female. And that really got me thinking, well, how can that be? I mean, that's just, that's a huge difference between male and female. And that's what sparked my interest in researching the topic and really trying to understand more about the why. Why is that the case? and if there's any trends and maybe you know we can learn something from it. Before we dive into the video, I just wanted to give everybody a really quick update. For those of you that have been following the channel, I shared in my last video that my wife and I were expecting our first little baby boy this week. I'm so excited and happy to say that our little baby boy came into the world here yesterday, very healthy, very safe, and mom is doing well, everything is doing great there. In a future video, I'll share how the little guy is doing, how mom's doing, how I'm doing, and uh, if anybody cares, if you don't care, that's okay, that's cool, I still like you. But yeah, for those of you that, are, that have been following the channel, just wanted to give you a quick update and thought, uh, thought I'd share that with y'all. The fact that men invest more into the stock market than women doesn't necessarily mean that they're better at it. It doesn't mean that they get better results. Men are great at a lot of things, but men are also not great at a lot of things. For example, Oh my gosh, I literally LOL'd on that one. All right, cool. So a Fidelity Investment Survey found that only 9% of women think they make better investors than men. So to put that into context, if there's 10 people, 10 women in a room, only one of them believes that they make better investors than men. Now, on the contrary here, this, this survey found that women are actually better than men at saving money. Now, we know there's a big difference between saving money in your checking account and inv investing money. So there's a very big difference there. But what was interesting to find that this survey found that women women are saving more than men and they're getting a higher annual rate of return than men. So, you know, historically, I think this would have been a lot different. If we were to look at this pre 2000, I think the, uh, this would be much more skewed towards, towards men than women, but it's showing that women are saving more money than men. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So if we continue on in this article, and I'll leave a link to, to all of the articles. I, I'm gonna share four articles. I'll leave all of their links, the sources, in the description below if you wanna check them out. But what's, what I found was really interesting about this survey was the women's skills and strengths. And if it, it kind of breaks it down into four areas here. So with women, women are really great at planning out and, be, and looking at things holistically in terms of their goals and their purpose for investing. Whereas with men, I, I can only speak for my Myself, it's like, okay, well, you know, GameStop to the moon, I'm just going to invest everything into the, you know, and just, you know, put everything on black and, and hope and dream that it, that it lands there. Like women are much more methodical in the way that they invest than men, you know, and that also the next point here ties in that women are less likely to take on risk. And then the third part here is they practice more patience. They're more patient than men. And we know in the stock market, you know, you can get burned really easy. You can invest at the peak if you're not patient and you throw it all in, you know, and you're not prepared and you don't have a plan, you can get burned very, very fast in the stock market. And so women are much more patient than men. Now, the fourth thing here with education, that it spurs action, this is a newer trend that they're seeing that women are educated 
educating themselves at a faster rate now than men are. And I think that that, that trend is only going to continue. So this article, the main takeaways for me was that women are better savers than men and that they take on less risk. So when it comes to finding out how confident women are in their investing, there was a survey or research done from Merrill Lynch that touches exactly on this topic. So how confident are women about investing? And what they found was is that when it comes to managing investments, only about half or 52% of women say they are confident compared to 68% of men. Now, I've been doing a lot of research over the last couple of weeks on this topic and you know, how confident are women about investing? I've gotten mixed results from different websites and this could obviously be biased because it's from a, an investment firm in Merrill Lynch. And, you know, maybe if it was from a different organization or a nonprofit or, or whatever, maybe the data would be a little bit different. But this is what Merrill Lynch found when it came to how confident are women when it comes to investing. But what's really interesting is the 52% is just the mean. When you look at under 100,000, it drops down to 43%. But when you look at 250 and above, it jumps up to 75%. So there's a big difference there depending on how much we're talking about in terms of how much they're investing. I think both men and women can agree that investing comes with risk. Any investment will carry some form of risk. And I think it's important to understand how men and women view risk. There was an article written by the Harvard Business Review specifically on risk, not, not investing in the stock market, just on how men and women biologically, how we as human beings perceive risk. The most interesting part of the article for me was around men are more inclined to take risk than women. And that male risk taking tends to increase under stress while female risk taking tends to decrease under stress. Now, I don't know about you, but when I invest in the stock market and you see the, you know, you see it's up, it's green, you see that it's down, that it's in red, that creates you know, a certain amount of stress. And depending on who you are and your risk tolerance, that can cause maybe a chemical imbalance inside of you and cause you to react differently. And both men and women react differently to risk. Men or male tend to take on more risk under stress and females tend to take on less risk under stress. And that kind of, you know, was interesting to me. And, you know, when you look at that in the stock market and how that relates to investing. When it comes to the psychology of investing, men versus women, there was a really great article written here by Money Crashers. And I'll, I'll leave a link to this, this article in the description below. But what really caught my eye was their summary of their key findings. They found that men are two times more likely than women to believe that their investment returns beat the broader market. That is really, really interesting. And we'll, we'll dive into that in just a second, what that means. Their second key finding was that the majority of men, 59% prefer to manage their own investments while women prefer to use a financial advisor. And then the third point was that men's favorite asset class is stocks while women prefer real estate. And then it goes on here that nearly three quarters, 74% of men reported that they invest in the stock market compared to only 51% of women. And then lastly, social impact is an important consideration for female investors. Only 19% of women said that they would invest in a company that was not considered socially responsible compared to 51% of men. That is so interesting. If you've been following my channel, I've had my wife on and we've, we've talked about that before. And that's been something that's really important for her. Before she even knew that, it, that that was a thing, she was talking about that. If you go back on my channel and you watch, you know, some of the videos that I've had, had with her, she's talked exactly about that without really even, you know, knowing that that was a thing. So I find that really interesting. So in their study, when it comes to, you know, men are overconfident in their ability, they believe that they can overperform or beat the market. It just shows that they're incredibly overconfident. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's true or accurate, but that's what they believe, that they're able to beat the broader market. Whereas I guess you could say women are a little bit more humble than, than men in this case. But the funniest thing was that article that we saw from Fidelity that we saw earlier, the reality is, is that female investors typically outperform men investors when they're, you know, whether they're doing it themselves or relying on a financial advisor. So to say that men are, better or beating the market more than women, the facts are actually the quite the opposite. 
So sorry, guys, we're uh, we're not better than women when it comes to to beating the S and P five hundred. So have you ever been on a road trip with your parents? and your, your mom is saying, hey, we're lost, we need to ask for, for directions, and then your dad is like, no, I'm a man, I'm gonna find my way, we're, we're gonna get there. Men, <laughs> true story by the way, when I was a kid, um, men are more likely to be stubborn, at least in my personal experience, I can only, I guess I can't speak, I don't wanna speak in, you know, in terms for everyone, but for me personally, in my experience, men are a little bit more hard-headed than women and they they maybe have a bigger ego than women you know they don't want to ask for directions they they're they're men they can do it whereas women they don't really have that ego and they're more willing to ask for help and that's why i think men prefer to do it yourself more whereas women maybe lean more on financial advisors and what i think is interesting about this is doing it yourself youtube is a do-it-yourself platform for personal finance and that would kind of make sense of why 95% of, of my viewers here on YouTube are male, whereas only 5% are female. So kind of interesting to see how that, that connects there. I thought this was also kind of interesting to see by asset class, how men and women are more likely to take on financial risks. Even Bitcoin, Bitcoin is pretty much similar, you know, both men and women. But when you go, when you look at stocks, stocks are overwhelmingly more skewed towards men. But with cash, obviously more skewed towards women. Gold is actually more for women as well. That's, that's interesting, I, I didn't know that, okay. Another interesting thing here was, are you investing in the stock market? And that 74% of men said they were, whereas 26% said they weren't, and it was pretty much half and half for women. And then coming back to the socially responsible investing, that women are typically more, you know, it's more, they're more prone to invest based off of their values, whereas men, that's not nearly as important when it comes to their investments. And then if you break it down here, would you invest in a company that was not considered socially responsible, such as a tobacco company? That would be like Philip Morris, Altria Group. Men, it was split 50-50 for the most part, whereas with women, 19% said that they would, and 81%, 81% said, uh, said that they would not. I mean, it's thank goodness we have women in the world because I think if it was just only men, I think uh, the world would be a pretty pretty messed up place. So after consuming all of this information and research that's been done, the psychology of investing, why women save more than men, my findings of this are that men are overconfident in their ability to assess risk and their ability to predict and choose the right outcome. And I can kind of see that in myself. We, we get a little bit cocky as men. Whereas women prefer to be a little bit more or lean a little bit more on professional support. They're, they're not, they don't have big egos. Um, they, they prefer that over the do it yourself. And once again, this is what would kind of explain why there's more men on YouTube from a do it yourself perspective than women. You know, what's also interesting is, is that investing always comes with some degree of risk. You know, specifically when we look at the Harvard Business Review article that men tend to take on more risk when under stress, whereas women tend to take on less risk when under stress, this can cause both a positive and negative result when it comes to investing, both to the upside and to the downside. So this is all really helpful information, but what can you learn from this? What can you take away for, from it to improve your own financial well-being? Well, when looking at this from a men's perspective or you know, as a man, it's important to understand that just because you're confident in a decision, it doesn't always make you right. You know, when you look at this from a woman's perspective, being conservative and, you know, maybe only saving and not investing can maybe, you know, continue to increase the, uh, the gender wealth gap that we have in men versus women. And then also, you know, when looking at this, when you're investing together with your partner, it can lead to a happier life. You know, when you look at studies of why people break up, why people get divorced, it's typically one of the, you know, the top five reasons is because couples are not aligned on their financial goals and, and ambitions. It really is due to financial problems. So work together with your partner and not be in silos and do things you know apart from each other when it comes to your finances. And lastly here, I think you know we can all agree both men and women have innate abilities that help them tackle life's financial challenges. When it comes to your financial hurdles in life, lean on your partner and become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll catch you in the next video. You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Can everyone say hi to my friend? That's crazy. I just wanted to say...
Thanks. I'm glad you came along, partner. <laughs> <laughs>